Pastor Steve here. Psalm 51, verses 14 and 15. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall flow with your praise. Now, David hadn't just taken a man's wife. He also took the man's life. Do, do you have guilt over stuff you did? Hmm? I mean, this was legitimate guilt, wasn't it? I do sometimes. One thing is I find that if I am disappointed with myself, it's because I believed in myself first. I'm then drawn back to Colossians, uh, the second chapter, verses 13 and 14. There Paul writes um, the, that Christ has taken away the handwriting of ordinances or the accusations that were against us, taking them out of the way and nailing them to the cross. You know, the worst thing I know about myself, the worst thing I know about myself was nailed to the cross. The worst thing you know about yourself was nailed to the cross. You don't own it anymore if you've asked him in. Let that sink in. Now, David recognizes his guilt, and he knows right where to take it, the throne of God. The mercy seat is the only place of, of true forgiveness and, and true removal of the guilt. You know, think about the fact that Jesus took your guilt. Jesus never had anything in his life to feel guilty about. He never had a guilty conscience, but on the cross, the guilty conscience of all the world was dumped on him. What pain that must have been, huh? Jesus paid it all. He died for your sins so you wouldn't have to. If you've come to him in repentance, that sin is, is blotted out. So agree to let him love you. Accept the forgiveness he gives. Some people call it forgiving yourself, but really it's accepting God's forgiveness of you. Even if you don't feel worth it, let him love you. Let him in. He will forgive you. He will remove the guilt. What David hoped for is yours by faith. Remember the, the woman in John 8 that was taken in adultery? You know, the religious crowd brought her to Jesus, and they wanted her stone. But after Jesus chased them out, you know, shined a light on their sin, perhaps, he said to her, Woman, where are your accusers? Does no one condemn you? And she said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her what he would say to you, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Repent. Turn from the old life. Turn to the new life. Uh, that's a mental process we'll talk about later. Turn to the new life, and then you can go to bed tonight not having to feel guilty anymore. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.